Because the chord shapes uh, in the forthcoming lesson are so different, we thought we'd try and uh, show them as best we can for you, so you can sort out the fingering. Our first chord is the A7, um, and we're using a D major open shape here. But what we're doing is we're playing with our first finger on the fifth fret of the D string. We're then missing a string and putting our second finger on the fifth fret of the B string. Then bringing our third finger to the sixth fret of the G string, making that D shape. If we play those three strings, that is an A7 chord. Our second chord swaps this shape around and we actually play an open D7 shape, um, but we're playing it with our first finger on the fourth fret of the D string. Our second finger comes diagonally to the fifth fret of the A string and our third finger, fifth fret of the G string. Lucky enough here, our D open D7 shape plays a D7 chord. That is a D7 chord, okay? And for the third chord, we have to move this shape up just two frets to play an E7 chord. So everything about these two chords, that one, D7, and that one, E7, are the same. We just move them up two frets. So, A7, D7, E7, A7, take a look. D7. That's the chord to the lesson. What I'm trying to do here for you is show you the picking technique. Now you can see that I'm using my thumb for that first note, which is from the fourth fret of the D string, slid to the fifth fret of the D string, but I'm sliding the whole chord shape but just playing that one note. And then the two remaining notes of that chord shape on the G and B strings are played with my first and second fingers in a plucking sort of motion. And then we change to our second chord shape. We just bring the hand back, moving the whole picking hand up a string towards you and we're doing the same pattern thumb slide first and second fingers this time on the middle two strings return to their first chord back down to our other shape <laughs> 